And you've taken us through the whole Bible. I didn't know Leviathan was that many yeah. other spots beside Job. Yeah, well, Job. Be, because if you're going to stick yourself out there as a teacher and say that there are principalities and powers with names and specific, specific operations, they'll label you. My, my audience, uh, people that don't like me, will right away label me as a kook, which is how come I was saying, talking about the Google alerts. Yeah. Leviathan will try to get your focus on the wrong thing and uh, because this is a mind control spirit. And uh, I was reading the Google alerts and, and that was when I saw, oh no, it was like Vox and Salon magazine. I was getting, I was going into the, the, the higher level liberal attack pieces from Media Matters mm -hmm. over Cyrus. And what they were doing was they were going to start, they're starting to target evangelicals and Christians right now. Yep. So they yes, said, they let's pick apart this Cyrus Trump thing, because that's come up a couple of times. So they went to a guy, a professor of theology, who said, this is called vessel theology. This is where Christians try to find a biblical vessel, and then they pour into the vessel all the symbolism that they invest in with. And I was reading this, and then, there, then all of a sudden I see like my name popping up, and then other people that sometimes take credit for what I do, they popped up first. I was glad <laughs> let them get beat up on. And so... Then as they're getting to me, it's like uh, Lance Wallnow is the one who said he's a Cyrus, and how can he overlook uh, blah, 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 whatever his sins are? And right at that time, an uh, announcement comes on. Benjamin Netanyahu is in the White House because Donald Trump has announced the embassy move to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And Netanyahu. <laughs> and I kid you not. Yay! While the New York Times is mocking Christians for their Cyrus prophecies, while Vox and Salon, Benjamin Netanyahu says, Mr. President, the Jewish people have a long memory, <laughs> and our memory reaches all the way back to the days of Cyrus of old, who issued a decree for the Jewish people to return. Mr. President, if you may, you are our modern-day Cyrus. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's when, that's when the Sanhedrin said, perhaps we should make a coin, put Trump and Cyrus on it. We'll make a few shekels. We'll do something with it. And you know where the money goes for the purchase of this coin? Look on the back. The Temple Project. The Temple Project! They believe Trump is going to help build the temple. I'll my God, my God, people, what more do you need? It, He's inspiring a revival with the Jews. That's amazing. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Is, aren't you shocked a little bit? I am totally shocked. I'm shocked. But listen, listen, listen. When, what, with, like with North Korea. It's I, amazing. <laughs> I watched like the thing going on with North Korea. And people are going, well, what do you think is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Isaiah 45. If you want to know how to pray for the president, remember it's Leviathan yeah. is twisting every piece of news in order to dismember people from this man. Now listen, there's a verse, a powerful verse says, in the want of people is the downfall of any prince. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. lack of support is the downfall of any ruler. And what is frustrating is there are no really strong vehicles that are organized that express people like us. Right. I've been in Washington. I've been in the meetings. I see a couple of photo op pastors here and there, and I don't go to these days because a lot of them are, people don't even they're showing up and there's a picture taking process. Right. But I'm interested in after the huddle is broken and the picture's done, who's going back and being an advocate for what this president's done and who's mobilizing people? Because we're going to have to go to the next level in doing this. It's not being done by anybody else. People like us are going to have to really rally people together on That's this That's right. Stuff. And it's so, so important.